Today I'm going to be doing a chest workout on all dumbbells. I'll be starting off with flat dumbbell press, work up to uh, either 150 or 160 pounds. Then I'll be doing a one arm incline press. Uh, and then I will be doing a uh, chest fly and a uh, dumbbell pullover as uh, the two accessory kind of movements. So uh, the heaviest thing will be the first two exercises and then the uh, last two exercises will be kind of more for reps and uh, to try to get more of a feel uh, for the muscle. So I'm going to start off probably with uh, 80s or so and work up to 150 or 160. So uh, probably and uh, I'm be using uh, my power blocks for today's workout. So here we go. So I'm starting off with 87 and a half pounds. My towel is super short, so it's going to be falling off like every set. Um, Seven and a half. Now I'll be, the next weight that I'll try is 111 pounds. So I'm switching handles to the 20 pound handle. So my goal today is to get to 160 and do like two or three reps. I don't know if that's really possible, but I'm gonna to try to get there. So I start off at 87 and a half, then I'm moving to 111, then 127, then 145 and then I'll be attempting 160 or 150 if I uh, 52 if I feel the 145 is really heavy um, so 111 pounds I don't have water let's see Drinking some water, not tea. Um, trying to not drink a lot. Um, I don't want to feel too full. Um, after my first two sets, then I can drink, drink as much. I, my, the, the st having the, my stomach feel too full doesn't really bother me on accessory type work. Only for like a heavy uh, bench press when I put on the belt um, when I get really heavy. Um, and put on the belt because it makes me feel safer, especially when I'm getting up uh, after the set. Um, I've strained my kind of lower back doing that before, that kind of movement, so it kind of helps. Um, uh, and you can kind of push off the belt a little too with your abs. Just makes me feel much safer. So uh, 111, and then I made a mistake here. I put the 12 and a half uh, handle on instead of the 20 pound handle. So that would have, wouldn't have been the end of the world, but it would have um, 
been a mismatch of uh, 11 or 10 pounds or so between the two handles, even though they're at the same blue level. So you kind of don't want to do that. So here we go, 111. Oh. 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 Ah. Going heavier. Ah. Of course I'm wearing wearing shorts with pockets, never a great idea. What I meant to say was shorts with pockets that kind of extend a bit out. The weight tends to get stuck on them. So, I'm skipping the, my original plan was 87 and a half, 111, 127, 145, uh, 160. Today, I'm skipping 127, I'm just going to 145. We'll try that, see how that works. So, it's not a huge jump. Um, so, I really want to try to get as many reps as I can with 160. That's why I'm doing that. Um, from a workout perspective, it's probably better to do more warm up sets before you get to the heavy work just to make sure you don't get injured and. Um, Dumbbells different than like squatting or whatnot, where you're, where you definitely can, sometimes you can jump, uh, you know, a 45s on each side. Sometimes you can jump 25s on each side. Um, it just depends your, how strong you are. So if you have like a 700 pound squat, you can afford to jump more than say somebody that has a 400 pound squat. So you're going to feel the, a big difference between 200 and 300 versus, uh, you know, 200 and 400 with 700 pounds back there. Feeling really fresh, so oh, hopefully 145s at one time were extremely difficult for me, so. This will probably drain me a bit. I'm going to try six or eight reps, depending on how I feel strength level wise. So I did six reps, or knowing me, probably less. <laughs> Sometimes I can't count that well. My goal is to not tire myself too much out. Yeah. 
So I know just from doing 145s that when I go to 160, it's going to be way too heavy. But my thinking is I haven't um, tried it in such a long time that I want to give it a shot. So let me give it a shot. Now that was me being lazy, racking the weight. I made it much harder than it needed to be. Um, normally what I do when the weight gets heavy is I leave one on the bench, then rack one on the bench, then come over two hands, grab it, then lift it on. The way I was doing here, you can hurt yourself. If, Felt my back get a little, uh, didn't like when I kind of just put it over like that. So I wouldn't recommend doing that. So I think I'm not sure how many minutes I've been working out. Let's see. 11 minutes. So. Between my first set uh, of 80 pounds to my 145, it's only been 10 minutes. So I'm for sure gonna use the belt uh, on this next set. I'm gonna give myself a, a minute or two. Um, I always get kind of scared. Uh, at a gym, it's a little bit easier is you can just grab the 160s, maybe have someone help you, or whatever heavy is to you. And um, someone can help you grab, grab the weights, the dumbbells, put it on you, and you can do the set, and if you can't do the weight, you can just drop it. Well, with the power blocks, considering these, when I originally bought them, cost a couple grand, um, <laughs> I'm not going to drop it first of all, I'm upstairs in, a, in a, a house and it would destroy the floors and it would also destroy my dumbbell, which is more important than the floor. So, uh, you got to have priorities, right? So, um, I'm going to give this a shot. I think the most I've ever done is like two or three reps with 160. So, I guess three reps I'd be happy with. Anything more than one rep I'd be happy with. You know, so I'm just gonna go for it. And what's fun about doing something that's super heavy is that after you do it, you feel like you wanna die. <laughs> so completely drains you if you're doing it right. So uh, here we go. I've been kind of thinking about this all day. So hopefully I can at least get one rep. Okay. The hardest part is getting it to your legs and then not giving up when you want to give up with the weight. So. so these are 160, which is the gray, the second to last on these 175 pound adjustable dumbbells. There we go.
now we're working out. I think I might be able to do another rep if I can stay tight, what tends to happen for me is I'll go. First one will be really difficult. Second one's easy. And then after that, once I kind of get to the top, and then if I lock out too, too far, then it's like, oh. And then the weight comes down way too fast. And then I'm like, there's no power. But if I can slowly control the down a little bit more, then I can push again. I also had trouble getting the weight on my right knee. Oh, I think I did like two or three reps, so that's good. So what I've been doing traditionally is heavy, flat, dumbbell bench press. And then we'll do an accessory, and then we'll come back to do an incline. And I find when I do that, I've recovered somewhat so that I can push hard on incline also. But to mix it up, I'm just gonna go straight to incline. And everything, my, what's interesting is with heavy dumbbell press, the forearms really get worked out. And my forearms are really pumped up. I noticed that I also have that when I heavy bench press too. But the advantage is with dumbbell, first of all, I think it's safer. Um, it's harder to kill yourself with it. Um, uh, I've had instances where I've bench pressed with the barbell and I've kind of had it slip and almost pop out onto me, um, which in a power rack, it's not the end of the world if you have the safety things set up correctly, it will hit before it'll hit your chest. Um, but, you know, it's scary. So, um, and I feel this is easier on the shoulder too. And for me, this is what's convenient. It's right in my living room. I can use it anytime I want to use it. I can watch my favorite TV show. Or not my favorite, because I really want to pay attention, but like an enjoyable show and workout. Because it does kind of suck though when you're working out and you're trying to focus, then something interesting happens on the TV, so. <laughs> Gotta make sacrifices. So I'm gonna start off with uh, something light, 80 pounds. My whole, everything's pumped right now, so. I'm gonna keep my belt on. My back's been acting up. I don't want to do anything to aggravate it. Here we go. This is uh, 80 pounds or uh, 36 kilo, 36.3 kilo. <laughs> the pounds are always whole numbers. The kilos that work normally. <laughs> Weight feels light, but arms are super pumped. So what I'm gonna to try to do here is do pretty much work up to what I feel is heavy, and then do like one more set normally. I just go by a feel so that I could be three sets, I could be four sets, I could be five sets. So, I'm gonna bump up slowly, 95. I'm always too optimistic with my incline. And I'll go to 100 and then it's like, 
I'm just like, just blow out all my energy. So I'm going slow today. 95. See how that feels. Then go up five pounds or go up 10 pounds. Pretty simple. So I'm just gonna give myself one more minute. I'm about 20, over 20 minutes in. So, we're on good, good pace here. If I wanna do everything that I'm thinking of, probably be like a 15 minute workout. So we'll see, my endurance tends to slow down once I start going heavy with it, all the weights. But so far, I feel pretty good. I ate about maybe two and a half hours ago, which is kind of long for me, but I feel, I feel really good. Don't have any discomfort in my stomach, which I normally have from eating like 30 minutes before. So, let's see. Kind of got a little lazy there. I was thinking to myself, oh, my left arm's much stronger. And then I wasn't stable and then it made it harder. So always try to be focused. Try to have some stability so you can push. So I'm feeling good. I'm gonna go 111 pounds, which is blue on the 20 pound handle or around 50 kilos. I'm gonna take off my belt for a second. Drink a little bit more water. Now for these, um, I, I have trouble doing the two arm dumbbell press uh, for whatever reason. Uh, have some sort of problem with my shoulder. When I do it this way, I tend to not have that problem. So I do it this way because I'm kind of forced to. There's other variations too. I've seen people, uh, they hold the dumbbell like this and they press instead of like this. So you could do two arms like this Don't be uh, limited in what you see most people doing. Um, you can do a variation, whatever feels comfortable and doesn't hurt you. Because once you mess up your shoulders, like I've just was stubborn in the beginning with weightlifting, and something you have to deal with the rest of your weightlifting career, the rest of your life. So try to be nice to your shoulders. They tend to get it injured easily, just like elbows and knees. Um, I've been played mostly with problems with my right shoulder, which I feel a little from time to time, now being the time. Um, I had zero knee problems until recently, uh, but I, I still feel okay. So I'm gonna drink some water. Gonna mix up the order, start left hand instead of right hand. I always start right hand. That has no, I don't think that has any sort of performance increase or 
anything, I'm just doing that because my right shoulder is kind of bugging a little, so I want to get a little bit more rest. So this is a 111 pounds. Oh. Can't just grab that casually. <clears throat> and I lied, I'm going right arm first. <laughs> Have it. Now my left is a little stronger, so I think I could have done two more reps. I'm gonna wait and do one last set. Also, when you do have an injury, like a shoulder injury, and it's for the first time, or you've heard it before, but you know it, it's not super serious, and you want to lay off your shoulder, and you are left-handed or right-handed, and it affects your dominant hand, it's kind of weird trying to switch everything with your other hand. Like I'm so used to pulling out the weight with my right hand, putting it back with my right hand, starting with my right hand, it's just a hard habit to break. I'll take this off for a minute. Shoulder is starting to bug a little bit more. I'm just gonna do one more. Uh, then, depending on my laziness, I might do one or two accessories. I know I should do two accessories, so I'm not super exhausted yet, but I have a bad habit of once I get around, I'm around the 30 minute mark, once I get to like the 40, 45 minute mark, I get tired and that's just due to um, habits of training uh, at one point in my life when I first started out weightlifting I was doing two hour sessions or more and those really wor worked well for me but I just got lazier and lazier as time went on and um, I try to get in a workout when I can and uh with the level of cardio I'm doing, the level of weightlifting, my endurance just isn't there. I need to really push myself if I want to get there. So luckily, or unluckily for me, I can always find excuses. Well, I don't want to overdo it with my shoulder, or I don't want to hurt myself, or, you know. You got to use judgment, but you got to know when you're lying to yourself, too. Like today, I might do less because my shoulder is bothering me, but... There are times when that's not an issue and you should push through. So you just gotta be smart about it. And uh, try to be smart. This workout, I haven't been drinking as much water as I normally do. There is bugging. Not good. Okay. 
There we go. Nope. That's disappointing, but okay. That one wasn't necessarily muscle failure, it's just I pushed, kind of got out of place. So, whatever. So, what did you pull over? Uh, 